Today, I'm painting in the style of Joseph Wright. Hi everyone, Steve Elliott here again in Procreate this time. Uh, I said in the introduction that I'm painting in the style of Joseph Wright. Uh, I kind of am. It, this isn't like um, intended to be like the series I did in the painting in the style of. Uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, it's sort of a series of paintings where I chose a different master each week and tried, let's say tried, uh, to emulate them and paint something in the style of. Well, this is slightly different because when I set about it, I knew exactly what I got in my head, what I wanted to paint. And um, it was definitely in the style of a painter called Joseph Wright, who actually um, lived in the, I think it was the 1600s or the 1700s. I'm not too sure, which I can't remember. But he's got an art uh, gallery or, or there is an art gallery of his work in Derby Museum and it's a permanent gallery and it's there because uh, he is a Derby artist and he painted he loved painting um, lots of works about the industrial revolution and he made his living as a portrait painter so he's done these sort of magnificent portraits of not royalty anybody like that but mill owners and sort of uh, rich businessmen of the day, but his passion was the industrial revolution and, and science and painting things like an Ori and, and stuff like that. And one of his, uh, key signatures that he put in a lot of his paintings was a small window with a moon, um, sort of peering through the window. Or if he was doing a landscape at night, you'd see the moon. And it was always sort of half covered by clouds. And my gran used to take me to see uh, Joseph Wright paintings when I was like seven years old. Uh, so I've grown up with them all my life. I take my uh, children to see them. And um, they actually, for my birthday present last year, they arranged for, uh, for us to go into Derby Town and took me to the gallery uh, to look uh, to look at his work. So... Um, I just love Joseph Wright and this, um, is kind of in the style of Joseph Wright because, you know, I don't presume to say I can paint like him because he was an absolute master. But this is what I came up with. Now, if you look at the photograph on the left, I took three photos and then, uh, the, obviously the baby is Killian, my grandson. Oh, and now it's disappeared. I'll come back to it in a minute. What happened where was uh, pro uh, the Apple recording thing didn't work again. So I had to go into the um, photo, into the Procreate uh, screen record. And there it's really difficult to see uh, what's... I hope you can see it because obviously I could see it when I was working uh, on uh, on... Uh, my iPad, but it's a little bit difficult to see on the, the PC as I'm editing it. So I do apologize if you uh, can't see that too well. Right. Going back into the photos, as I was saying, uh, we've got the, the photo of, of Killian, my grandson, which I took the moon. I took that photograph as well. That's standing outside my uh, front door late one night. And then I Googled on, I didn't Google. I went to Pixabay. And did a search for dream catchers because my daughter is a bit spiritual and is well into dream catchers. So I sort of cobbled them together in this rough, rough, uh, photo montage. And I used Affinity Photo to piece them all together. And that was on the iPad. It was the iPad version. And I didn't really, uh, mess about too much with it. I just got the three images where I kind of wanted them, um, on the, uh, for the composition and that was it so how did I paint this picture well I began by using a turpentine brush and I s sort of scrubbed in some background colours I also changed the background colour uh, of the sort of background layer that you can't actually paint on and I changed that to a sort of a, a, a mucky green really and then I uh, created a new layer and I started painting the dream catcher in. And as you saw earlier, I kept toggling off the background layer so I could actually see 
the dream catcher uh, as I was painting it because it was just too dark to actually uh, see what I was doing. Um, I also created a layer for the um, sky and the moon, but I did merge that down into the bottom layer. And then I created another layer for uh, Killian to paint him on. And the idea of the painting was I wanted uh, the top part of the painting to be illuminated by the moon. So the, uh, the moonlight coming through the window would sort of catch the dream catcher and uh, add light to that. And then Killian would be lit by possibly um, a candle or a soft bedside light. Or, or something of that nature. So uh, that was my sort of um, idea that I got in my head for the actual um, composition and the colours that I was going to use. So sort of using blues at the top of the painting and to put a rim of light around that dream catcher. And then as I was painting Killian, I'd be using warmer colours. And the brushes that I used, I used a turpentine brush uh, to sort of scrub in the background and then uh, painted the curtains in that uh, sort of made them all they were straight out of the top of my head and then I used my own oil brushes and I used two I, there's a blocking in brush which I used initially to get get the sort of shape of Killian and and then I used the oil brush the the finer one of I think I've only made two oil brushes is that I can't remember what it was called uh, but if you can, they're free download. So if you've uh, got them, there's only two brushes, and I use those uh, for killing because I felt that the um, Procreate brushes don't get you that nice soft blend um, that I wanted on killing because he's you know a little baby really, and I felt that um, using the Procreate brushes it would just be too harsh, and I wanted a much softer effect. I didn't want to use anything like an airbrush because I think that just looks too artificial. So I did want you to see the brush strokes, but I wanted them to be very, very soft. So I'll put a link, as always, uh, for you to get those brushes if you haven't already got them. Uh, they are free. Just uh, follow the link and, and download them and um, give them a go if you haven't used them. So th that's what I'm using here to paint in these hands. Um Everybody that's seen this says it looks like he's praying. Um, I just think he's, he look, just looks really peaceful. And the dream catcher is keeping away any bad dreams. And uh, that, that, that's my take on it. And it's just a nice, peaceful scene. I really loved, I loved, absolutely loved painting this. Because it kind of, for me, it spans four generations of my family. Because it's all started with my gran that used to take me uh, to the art gallery when I was seven, every Saturday, uh, me and my brother, actually. And we used to help carry a shopping around town, carrying these big, heavy shopping bags. But we always got to go into the gallery and look at the paintings. There was a lot, and there's a museum there. We looked at a lot of other stuff. So it started there, and then that continued with uh, Charlotte and Fran me taking them to the um museum as well i don't know what i'm there i filled the layer by accident uh, and i could not undo it you just want to undo so i ended up having to cut it all out and then blend that uh, back in again so good job it was on a separate layer um so yeah then i took uh, my children and the green dream catch kind of represents charlotte because she's very spiritual and she's into all things like that and obviously we've got Killian in there now as well. So I can't wait to take him to uh, the Josie Fry Gallery uh, as well. That's going to be exciting when he gets a little bit older. So I'm still just using those uh, few brushes and uh, blending away, working on the clothes. Uh, and all this was done on one there at this point. It's done on one layer, but I, I'd got in my mind I'm, I was going to create a few more layers once I'd uh, finished painting in uh, his baby grow. I was going to put some more layers in just to put some shadows on his face 
and put the left side of his face a little bit more in shadow and his clothes in shadow. And I felt that I would get a much smoother effect by creating other layers and setting the blend mode to multiply, multiply. But that comes in a few minutes. So I'm still working on that one layer, just sort of uh, picking colors that I think um, work with my uh, color scheme that I've got going off here. I could have probably put a few warmer colors into his clothes, looking at it now, uh, sort of lit by the candle, the imaginary candle that I've got in my head. But um, I didn't, so it's okay. I think it's okay. So still on that one layer, uh, getting a bit of detail in his ear. So I, d I didn't know when to stop with this because I, I could have kept going, um, really. Oh, and the other reason I'm not calling this a painting in the style of is um, because I didn't actually have any reference photos of Josie Fry's paintings. It was just that what I'd got in my head because I've seen his paintings so many times that I didn't feel like uh, I would need to see them. So I'll, I may do another... I am planning to do some more painting in the style of uh, paintings, uh, but not just yet. So now you can see that I've created this uh, other layer just to sort of put in some darker shadows that are blended over. So I didn't want to lose the detail that I'd already painted in. But I just wanted to get that little bit more uh, sort of shadows in there. And then I go back into the sky look and I'm just picking out some highlights around the moon and then these shapes on the dream catcher. Get it signed. Uh, last thing I did, I didn't really do anything after that. I was very happy with it. I just left it. So that is it. That's Killy and the dream catcher. I hope you have enjoyed this painting uh, or this video if you have. A big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.